Hello everyone, welcome to High Plane Games. My name's Simon and welcome to Niche, a genetic survival game. Thank you very much for the developer, which is also called Niche, for sending me over a copy to take a look at. Uh, massive disclaimer up front that this is a very early, early access game, although it's really quite intriguing what it's trying to do. Um, think Spore mashed with turn-based survival, and you're kind of there. But as you can see, uh, we're on version 0.2.1. So very, very, very early on in the game. Let's go for Smithy World. Yes. So each world that you create is randomly generated. So you'll never get the same experience necessarily twice, but you always start off with two relatively similar-ish little contraptions, or creatures rather. One's always called Eve. And one's called Adam. Ta-da! And just very quickly to explain kind of what you're expected to do is you want to continue making this tribe, but because time, as always, with us all, marches on, uh, each of these creatures have a lifespan, so you want to continue sending on your genes and your genetics and your gene pool. And so you need to be able to mate and fend for yourselves and build a nice nest and continue to adapt and grow your creatures and your genealogy essentially over time. And you do it with these adorable little characters. I love that it follows the mouse around. I think that's so cute. Reminds me of um, those little things that you put on the windowsill where you smack their head and they bobble around. They're not. Are they called bubble heads? I think they might be. So, uh, to explain some of the UI and stuff like that that's going on. We've got Adam and Eve here that we want to deal with. You can see down here on Eve that she's seven days old. She's only got 18 days left remaining. Uh, and the more damage that they take, or if they get sick, or if you drown them or something like that, uh, their lifespan starts to decrease down there. Um, and they do go through like a, a baby, adult, and full grown section there. So you can kind of see the lifespans that they're going through. Uh, each animal also has energy that they need to deal with. And you can see it displayed on their body themselves. They've got three energy turns that they can use. Uh, and each animal has its own gene. So this uh, Eve is very quick. She's got collecting skills so she can collect food for us, which is a big thing for the tribe. Strength for attacking. She can swim. Ish. <laughs> uh, she has normal eyes, medium ears, and a big nose for smelling. So she can smell, smell that shit out. Um, which is quite handy. So then it also has just down here this like extensive gene rack is what I'm going to call it and it's all the different things that she possesses in her gene pool so we've seen all of that so she's got yellow fleur, red mane, violet eyes, immunity A um, which is quite important uh, when you're looking at diseases and sickness she's got stripes and all of that stuff but she also has recessive genes that she may pass on to any direct descendants so she let's see what's different so she's got immunity b potentially so it's different types of things she could have a panda pattern that she could send on she could have a swimming tail as opposed to a fluffy tail so if that could end up being that um our child should we breed adam and eve which we will do in a second could end up having a swimming tail and webbed feet <laughs> um, and antlers for strength so there's plenty of stuff that she can do if we look at Adam, for example, he's not quite as quick, not quite as good as collecting. Adam, you're a bit crap. Oh, you're quite strong though, so that's okay. And he's got poisonous fangs so he can attack people and deal with stuff. Uh, again, can't really smell very well uh, and doesn't seem to have a nose <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, it does very much. So that's quite interesting, but he could potentially Uh, give off short-sighted eyes and make someone actually not very good at being able to see what's going on. Muti G, whatever that is. Oh, he's got F already. And, of course, he's got a swimming tail as well, so that makes it quite likely that that could be a thing that goes on here. He also has the gene of haemophilia, which means that if their child has that gene and gets damaged, then obviously they're going to bleed a wee bit more. So there's good genes and there's bad genes, depending on what you're looking at. And each turn essentially starts off with... What we're going to do here is mate. 
that they can have a baby. So now Eve is pregnant. And so long as Eve stays in her little nest, she's fine. She can give birth to the bubba. But each turn that you do do um, has repercussions. So if I scroll out here, here you can see the island, which is actually nigh on identical to what I had last time I played. There is some slight difference there. Um, and so what you can do is you can move straight to a location or you can look at something and then it becomes like part of your known territory um, and that's all good whereas Eve herself we can get her to collect some berries because she's better at that and I'm not going to move her because I want her to give birth to the baby on the next turn at the end of the, each turn when no one's got any uh, energy left you can see like they're knackered and their head goes down because they're done for the day Eve we're not going to use all of her turns um, you click for the next day, time progresses, everyone's now a day older, um, but everyone's got their energy back essentially. So now not only do we have these little two things here, but we've got a little bubba called Vanta, not Yanta, oh, not Tori Amos. So that looks to me, so good, good smile, good eyes normal body, runner legs but again no poisonous fangs or anything like that so it looks like he's taken after mummy more than daddy and the whole idea of this is that you want to try wherever you can to try and counsel out some of the bad genes and keep some of the good genes wherever possible and you do that um, by looking at the mutation menu and as you unlock more and more genes over time you can start to try and pick out the ones that you really want to carry forward so if we was on like a really heavily waterlogged island um, it would be worthwhile to be able to swim so you choose webbed feet um, or something like that or if we was full of somewhere where um, there's lots of carnivores that are going to try and eat us then it might be worthwhile to pop antlers in so we can drag our antlers down there for a 30 percent thing um, and we would want maybe a fishing tail so that we can fish for food. So it, for um, Vanta in future, um, and for everyone I think in future, yeah, it will kind of, you can try and progress those genes um, on a possibility basis. So Vanta is a little tiddler and can't move yet because she's in her infancy but we can collect some berries there and I think we'll move there and we'll take a peek into there but not necessarily go for it there's a rock there so I'm just going to move straight there oh look there's another little thing there that's good let's move out and see what we've got So you can see that we're starting to forge a path uh, across the world, essentially. Let's continue on. You see there, Vanta got bigger and is now able to move around. And you can see that she's passed her first bit of her life. And this is essentially how the game progresses kind of over time. Um, now I'm kind of being a bit naughty and pushing on somewhat. Um, just so that you can see a bit more of the game than what you would initially do so over time. But what we could do, it potentially, again I'll just push on again, is look for strays from other tribes that we've not yet got to or seen. like we've managed to miss all of the animals that are about here so that's fine um, and we'll do a little look there and we'll get you there oh a little berry 
tree that will do nicely so they're next to each other we shall get them to mate again um, and we'll see if Eve becomes Prakers. Yes, she is. There you go. Breast of night on a nest to give birth. So that's great. And I think what we'll do is we'll move you out a wee bit. And um, what we'll do with Little is we'll start trying to mark our territory and our space because when you're in tall and long grass, it stays forever kind of uh, hidden. Whereas if you actually purposely peek and look at something, it's almost like you're claiming it as your own. So you've got this idea of do you want ah oh, look we got horns oh and that means there's something there let's take a look at Carrero so got me the horns no paw Aww. no pattern fluffy tail so we didn't we didn't get that uh, but we could get our antlers for plus one strength so that's good um, so let's take a we look. I think we might need to be going defending. Oh, it's just a bunny. Let's see, we we'll drop down there. Yo, mama, what you doing? Kind of sit and make some of this my own and it's a real slow burn this game because you don't necessarily oh, when did that turn too early sorry my fault um, sit and think hmm what, what am I going to do now but you do have to think long term about what your game plan is going to be so like there's nothing around in here which is kind of annoying um, I'm running low on food though so I'm going to move you my little lovely over to there so you can get some berries next turn and as Lillen you've only got one move so, the idea with this, hopefully, is that we will come across some people, well, not some people, sorry, some creatures that we'll be able to breed with. And the other thing that we need it to do is to rain, <laughs> because rain replenishes all the bushes. <laughs> look Fanta's now an adult so they're now up to full strength essentially aha we'll do that you also need to balance how big your tribe is versus how much food you think you can bring in so if you get an island that's got tons and tons of berries on obviously that's lovely because okay that's now run out of berries that's a Because you're going to need to sit and work out how sustainable your tribe is. So that's built us up food for a wee while. Let's dive there, let's dive there. Oh, there's another bush. So I'm going to mark that out because then at least we've always got some, some up going on. Just a bit annoyed that I've not been able to find a stale wart yet. Ah, rain! Yay! Berry galore. So that will do nicely for me, thank you very much. Feel a bit 
me sending this one out into the wild, but tough. <laughs> we need to find you a. I'm feeling like we're getting all Indian, but we need to we need to get you arranged to marriage. <laughs> Berries are back, which is great. out and about. We can't fish either so that's annoying. Uh, is that everyone? I think that is. So yeah, <clears throat> this at the very beginning is how this game works and it appears that we've I've managed... Ah! Hello? Oh there we go. Look at that beautiful little creature. Hello. It's Kirtanu. And it looks like to me that they've joined our tribe. So let's take a look at the stats. Oh, they're both males. That's annoying. But it's a different person. What was our other little one? See, now that Kareri is a Kareri, sorry, is a female. And we've got this little dude who can fish and is stronger than us. What have they got gene wise? Immunity F. Oh. And immunity A, that's good. If you have the same immunity genes, it generally means that you start to get a bit mangy, <laughs> I find, over time. Right. We're gonna make friends. So, now that we've clicked on Vanta, we can attack them, but we don't really want to. We want to invite him to join our tribe, essentially. And he's joined. And look, now he's one of us. And that now means that we can control him. And essentially, we're gonna say, yo. <laughs> and fancy a little bit of filthy fun. So, Kirantu is now mated with that animal uh, and can now... Kirantu's got great legs. <laughs> <laughs> so she can go and have a little filth pot there. You can get me some berets. As can you now that I am somewhat less worried about the lack of berry bushes because we found some. And look at how far we can make ground because we're in clear air and I guess that's the reason for why you'd peek around things because you're clearing the grass and you're less worried I think long term so let's see what our newborn is with our little weird straight oh dear nice teeth so cozy has a big body Runner legs, Unity A, fluffy tail, webbed hind legs for swimming. But it doesn't look like at the moment, at least, any fishing skills. So that did not get passed on. Um, and so what we would do with that? You can see we've we've unlocked nimble fingers for collecting. So it might be worthwhile getting rid of the antlers and popping in the fingers so that we can collect more and that's essentially how you continue playing the game we've managed to have a really poor run of not really finding very much but the whole point to this essentially is 
I think what I'll do is I'll make like really specific. Now oh, your collecting skills are crap. Aren't they? Oh, hello. I spot a shell. But your collecting skills are good. With your nimble fingers. Dearest can pop out. And if each action you do is costs food, so you always have that kind of I think I've already said this, but sometimes it's better to not spend all of your turn. Hey, more rain. Bunnies are good for food. It's like they're getting away. Wow. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it looks like Adam is nearing the reach of his life as well. Adam and Eve. So it's a good job that we've got some mating going on, but we're going to need to mate some more and then start looking at how we can cro not crossbreed, but you know what I mean. Um, and that's where the family tree stuff comes in. So you can see there that Adam and Eve have bred Vanta and Kosi. Sorry, Adam and Eve bred Dunker. So well, let me start that again. So you've got like the direct descendant there because Kira Tanu didn't have anyone else that's come from. But you can kind of see who's who's compared with who, which is really good to see. The issue that we have now is that for Carrera to do anything, we're a bit stuck now. So I think we need to probably get even Kiritanu together. If that's even possible, how far apart are they? Oh god, he's nearly dead as well. Mmm, misjudged that one, Smithy. Uh, right. Quick! Okay, so let's do that. Let's get there and mate. Because they're the they're the only other two that aren't like weird crossbreeds. <laughs> uh, and we need you, my little lovely, to dive to there. Dive to there. Probably to there, so you can give us some food next time. Bye. So yeah, so you can kind of see. Where oh hello. that's handy. I'd forgotten that was there. Um, I know that's a bit of a waste of time, but because we've got so much going on, we're gonna need some prop some proper unto gatherers, ain't we? So oh no, back in. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'm going to that. Expand us a little bit there. So hopefully Eve, just before death, will give us a wee little baby who's trapped a bit behind little daddy dearest. 
that the Vankiro is not quite as fast, but better at collecting, has some strength cracking. Uh, how well an animal can perform certain objects? Open certain objects, that's good. Swimming can move. So look, we've we've now created like the, the ultimate swimming rock cracking nutter. <laughs> Um, unity type A and I, so that's good. Ooh, be a mm, nice. And so on the days go. So I don't want to end in a horrible Adam and Eve die, <laughs> so I'm going to stop here. This may take people's fancy. It's a really interesting, unique game experience that takes elements from sport and elements from uh, turn based strategy games and kind of moulds them together but the emphasis is very much around on surviving as a tribe and wanting to eliminate certain genes and keep some genes going and there seems to be a lot in plan here to do that but bear in mind that this is early access version 0.2.1 there is tons of stuff still to come it's really interesting how the game has started off and I'm really intrigued to see where this goes in the future. So thank you very much for watching here on High Plane Games. My name's Simon. As always, please do uh, consider subscribing for a daily gaming video. Take care all. Bye for now. Squeaky chat.